okay guys here is my fabric i've placed it on fold as you can see so we'll be marking our, our measurement remember our baseline every measurement starts from there so let's impute our vertical measurements okay from my shoulder to so my nipple point is 11 inches and also remember i'll be adding half inch at the shoulder line so we'll be adding half inch to the measurements we have 11.5 here and then my under bust is 16 plus half inch we have 16.5 and then my waist is 18 we have 18 plus half inch we have 18.5 then the full length of my six pieces top is going to be 26 plus half inch so we measure 26.5 plus 1.5 inch that i'll be using to fold it at the hem okay so we have all together 28 inches so let's draw it out into a straight line okay here are my markings we have the shoulder line nipple line under bust waistline and the hem line so right now we're going to be putting our horizontal measurements okay to get the the center front so we'll be using our nipple to nipple measurement mine is eight inches plus divided by two we have four inches plus half inch sewing allowance so i'll be marking 4.5 okay i'll mark down 4.5 starting from the nipple point and also at the shoulder line okay i'm marking down my 4.5 inches okay at the hem line i might not use it so i'll ignore that of the hem line so at the shoulder line we mark our 4.5 inches and then connect it okay connect the markings into a straight line just the way i'm doing it okay all right so we've marked out our nipple to nipple measurement hope my markings are clear let me make it more bold okay so right now what we're going to do now we're going to impute of our measurement at the shoulder line we're going to come in by one inch just watch what i'm doing we're going to come in by one inch and then at the under bust we're going to mark 1.5 inch inward and then at the waistline we're going to mark one inch inward just the way i'm doing it and then at the nipple point for it not to protrude we're going to go up by half inch and also come down by half inch okay half inch on both sides up and down just the way i'm doing it okay just for it not to have a protruded end okay so what we're going to do now is to connect the markings okay Connect from the one inch at the shoulder line down to the half inch above the nipple line. And then from the half inch below the nipple line down to the 1.5 inch at the under bust and down to the one at the waist. Okay, just the way I'm doing it. Just watch carefully. Connect it gently, making sure there's no sharp end at the nipple point. Okay, so connect it downward. Just watch what I'm doing and follow the instructions. Okay. And then at the hemline, we're going to be marking out seven inches at the hemline. If you want it straight, you can mark 4.5 inches, but I want a flay at the hem. So I'll be adding measuring out seven inches so that when it is spread out we have 14 inches at the hem line okay so that is what, exactly what i'm marking right now so we're going to connect from the waist down to the hem line okay just the way i'm doing it as you can see my markings okay i uh, hope my markings are clear so what we're going to do now we're going to cut out this center front okay which is the first piece of the six pieces top 
all right as you can see our center front is out which is the first piece for the center front okay as you can see we are going to be using this to cut out the sides for the front six pieces okay so here is the side i'll be placing the center front on the fabric to cut out the sides okay but as you can see if i place it this way i'll be losing much fabric so what i'm going to do now is to turn it around the other way making sure the end the folded end faces inside and well why the open end faces the closed end of the uh, folded fabric just watch what i'm doing just the way i'm placing it now this is how you place it making sure the sharp end meets at the closed end of the folded fabric the one below for the sides okay okay as you can see i just marked out my center front for it to be a bit clear okay so what i'm going to do now is to make my markings on the sides all right remember this is the center front and if we spread it out we'll be getting two times of what we have here okay when spread out so we are assuming that we've already measured out whatever we have on the center front okay so we're going to be subtracting it from the sides just watch what i'm, I'm doing okay so we have 3.5 here okay for the center front we'll be subtracting it and whatever we have remaining is what we're going to be measuring on the sides okay so we're going to shift our measuring tape just the way i just did watch carefully so we have our shoulder as nine inches plus two inches seam allowance okay it's better to add excess to have a loose garment than to have a tight garment so i'll be cutting off the excess after joining it together okay so let's measure out our armhole my armhole is nine plus half inch remember we added half inch at the shoulder area so i'll be marking out 9.5 okay just watch carefully so i'll be marking out 9.5 at the shoulder at the arm armhole area okay so let's mark it out into a straight line just the way i'm doing watch carefully okay and then our bust our bust is 10 3 8 okay let me mark out these lines into a straight line okay our bust is 10 3 8 so let's measure out what we have remaining okay so we have four and quarter for the center front we have four and quarter so we're going to shift our measuring tape inward and mark out our 10 3 8 okay so place your measuring tape the way i have just done and then measure out the remaining part of the sides we have 10 3 8 then i'll be adding 2.5 inches for allowance remember i'll be cutting it off after joining it together i have 2.5 there okay and then for the under bust we have nine and half inches so let's measure we have for the center front and then subtract it from the nine and quarter I have three inches left there okay so three inches i'll shift my measuring tape inward okay and place it at three inches just watch the way i'm doing it okay i'll place it at three inches there and then mark nine and quarter for the under bust nine and quarter plus half 2.5 inches same allowance okay let's be sure we have 2.5 inches and then for my hemline okay i'm going to be marking out 14 inches because i marked out 7 inches for the center front when we open it up we have 14 inches so i'll be marking out 14 inches for the sides okay 
So let's connect the sides together. Connect from the armhole down to the under bust and then down to the hem line. Just the way I'm doing it. After cutting and joining, I'll be trimming off the excesses, okay? And then for the armhole, I'm going to draw a straight line connecting the armhole to the shoulder and then make a little curve there just to signify that that place is the armhole, okay? Just the way I'm doing it. This is for the armhole. At the end of the day, I will cut it off after joining it to the center front, okay? It's better to have a loose fabric than to have a very tight fabric that cannot be amended. So at the end of the day, I will cut off the SSCs. For now, let's cut it out. All right, as you can see, this is our sides. Okay, this is the fabric for our side and this is for the center front. So we'll be joining it this way, okay, as you can see. So let's place it aside and cut out the back panel. As you can see, my fabric has been placed on fold. So I'll be using this to cut out the back panel. As you can see the baseline. we we'll measure out our vertical measurements just the way we did for the front panel. We're going to measure out 11 inches plus half inch for shoulder sewing allowance 11.5 under bust we have 16.5 and then for our waist we have 18.5 and then the full length of our top is 26 plus half inch also we have 26.5 and then 1.5 inch inches seam allowance for folding okay we use it for folding so we have 28 inches in total so let's mark it out and then mark it into straight line just the way i'm doing it okay so i've marked out our vertical measurements remember this is the back we're going to be marking out our zipper allowance which is 1.5 inches so we'll mark from the shoulder down to the hem of our top okay 1.5 inches zipper allowance let's mark it out and then Connect it from the shoulder down to the hem, just the way I'm doing it. Hope my markings are clear. Okay, so this is for my zipper allowance, as you can see, 1.5 inches. So, what we are going to do now is to impute. Uh, vertical horizontal measurement sorry we have four inches for our uh, nipple to nipple plus half inch seam allowance so we're going to measure it out starting from the shoulder line down to the waist okay we're measuring at 4.5 inches so we're going to connect it into a straight line just the way i'm doing it connect from the waist down to the shoulder or from the shoulder down to the waist okay all right so remember this is our back panel the back does not have a bust okay so what we're going to do here is to mark half inch above the nipple line okay just watch carefully Mark half inch above the nipple line and then on the under bust line, we're going to go in by half inches too. And then on the waistline, we'll connect it from the waist down to the nipple line or from the nipple line, crossing that half inch on the under bust down to the waist line. Just watch what I'm doing. Connect it down to the waist line, making sure the line is properly curved. Okay. 
to prevent any sharp end all right and then at the hem line remember we measured out seven inches for the front panel the center front so we are also going to measure out seven inches for the center front for the center back sorry and then connect from the waist down to the center back just the way i'm doing it as you can see okay because we don't want it to be straight all right so let me also connect down to the shoulder line remember we measured 4.5 inches from the shoulder line down to the waist line so we we'll connect the lines together all right so this is for the center bar we'll be cutting it out okay remember the back panel is going to be four pieces because of the zipper at the center okay all right so our back panel is gradually getting set this is the center back so what i'm going to do now is to fold the zipper allowance beneath the fabric and then place it on the fabric to cut out the sides for the back so let me fold it and pin it up use it to mark out the sides for the back okay it's like, as you can see this is my center back my one inch 1.5 inches seam allowance has been folded for the zipper just the way i did for the center front if i place it this way i'll be losing much fabric so i'm going to turn it the other way making sure the open end the area that i've been cut faces the folded end for the sides okay just the way i'm doing it okay all right so what we are going to do now is to mark out the areas we have already marked into a straight line on the sides so let's measure out uh horizontal measurements okay just the way we did for the center front we're going to be measuring out what we have for the center back and then the remaining one will be measured out on the sides so we have 4.5 inches for the shoulder and then our shoulder is nine inches okay let's place it and mark watch the way i'm putting my measuring tape so i'm going to be adding two inches for allowance which will be cut off after joining the sides together and after imputing our zipper so let's measure out the armhole remember we have nine inches as our armhole plus half inch that will be joining that will be adding at the shoulder for sewing allowance okay so we have 9.5 let's mark it into a straight line so right now we're going to impute our bust measurements our bust is 10 3 8 okay let's mark out what we have here what we have is 4.5 okay so we're going to shift our measuring tape and place it at 4.5 just the way i'm doing and then mark out the bust measurements we have 10 3 8 plus 2.5 inches seam allowance okay let's be sure we have 2.5 okay and then for the waist okay sorry for the under bust we have nine and quarter what we have here remaining is four inches so we are placing our measuring tape at four inches at the center back and then measure out the remaining of the sides okay we have nine and quarter plus 2.5 inches seam allowance okay at the hemline we added we measured out seven inches for the center back so for the sides we're also going to measure out 14 inches okay seven times two we have 14 for the center back and then we're going to measure out 14 inches for the sides so let's connect our markings together 
just the way I'm doing it. Connect our markings from the hem to the waist and to the bust. And then we are going to mark out the armhole. Remember at the end of our sewing, after joining the sides together, we'll cut off the cut out the excesses for the armhole. Okay. Just watch what I'm doing. Make a little curve just to identify that this is the arm hole. So at the end of the day, we'll cut off the excesses. Okay, guys, let's cut out the back panel. All right. This is for our back panel. Here is the center back, as you can see. Okay, so we we'll join it. That's how we're going to join it. Let me open it up and let's see how it looks like. We're going to open up the center back, as you can see. So we we'll join it this way while joining on our machine. Okay. So guys, this is for the back and this is for the front. This is the center front and this are the sides for the front. Okay. As you can see, our six pieces top is ready. Guys, this is the end of this tutorial. If this tutorial has been helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up and share this video. Like and subscribe. Please watch out for the sewing tutorial on this uh, channel for six pieces top. Thanks for watching till the end. I love you guys. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe before leaving. Bye-bye. I love you all.